This is the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for Monday, the 12th of June. I'm Michael Groff. Good news, bad news. Now, the good news in the short term, temperatures well below average today and tomorrow, but then we're going to pay for it later this week. And frankly, for the rest of the month, as temperatures go well above average, a major heat wave setting up over the southwest. And wait till I show you some of these temperatures coming up as we go through the video. Let's talk about it as we look outside this morning here at, well, just after 8 o'clock. We've got sunny skies in the valley right now, 79 degrees at Sky Harbor, dew point at 43, humidity 28%. The winds are calm. The barometer is steady. Temperatures out there this morning, upper 70s to low 80s in many spots right now. Mostly clear skies here over southern Arizona right now. And the watch warning map features red flag warnings across much of the west, wind advisories as well, flash flood watches way up north across parts of Idaho and Montana, and those are freeze warnings once again up around Silver Lake and Klamath Falls, Oregon, as this anomalously deep trough is bringing some pretty cold air to that region. And you see here in the southwest, those are excessive heat warnings. They're not in effect until later this week, though. Today and tomorrow will be quite pleasant, as we'll talk about momentarily. On the convective outlook, a moderate risk of severe storms today. Parts of Wyoming heading into Nebraska, say around Scott's Bluff. Then we've got the enhanced risk of severe storms to include Rapid City. With the standard slight risk going all the way from Bozeman, Montana to as far east as around Madison, Wisconsin. So let's talk about our weather in more detail. We'll look at the models and give you all the hot details. Here's the GFS, the 06Z run valid at 5 o'clock Mountain Standard Time today and an anomalously deep trough north of Arizona. Now, all of the dynamics and moisture and upper support for this will stay to our north as well, so no chances of precipitation. But much cooler temperatures setting up here today. Sunny skies will only be in the low 90s this afternoon, around 10 degrees below where we should be for this time of year. The GFS says 93. The European uh, deterministic run has us at 92 today. Either way, not going to be bad for the middle part of June. There will be some breezes around this afternoon, but all of the precipitation, all of that, as I mentioned, will be well to our north, as you see there. Tonight, clear, very pleasant temperatures. Lows in many spots should be down in the 60s, and in fact, the coolest valley locations, low 60s, some of the surrounding deserts, upper 50s tonight. Tomorrow, still not too bad. Sunny skies will continue. Highs in the mid and upper 90s. I still think we're going to stay shy of the century mark. Then Wednesday, high pressure slowly builds in. Highs 101 to 104. We should be around 103 to 106 on Thursday. Friday, highs 107 to 110. As high pressure continues to build in, sunny skies prevail. We'll be around 109 to 112 on Saturday. 111 to 114 on Sunday with sunny skies continuing as those upper heights continue to climb. And then here's a week from today. This is Monday, the 19th of June. A 594 heat bubble sitting right over the southwest states. High temperatures somewhere in the 112 to 115 range. Some of the models indicating warmer than that. And I would not be surprised to see the hottest deserts, say, around Death Valley. Heading down toward Needles, California. Somewhere in that 117 to 120 range. Tuesday, this is the 20th of June, just in time for the summer solstice. We are looking at record-breaking heat here, folks. Highs somewhere in the 115 to 120 degree range. And then this is the end of the forecast period, Wednesday, the 21st of June. And if this verifies, we continue with record-breaking high temperatures somewhere 115 to 120. Let's look at temperatures through the period off the GFS Ensemble. And here comes the heat wave this weekend, early next week. And in fact, the ensemble has us at 120 degrees. Yes, 120 by uh, next week. So I don't think it's going to get quite that extreme in terms of our high temperatures. Uh, but even if we take the best case scenario, probably somewhere 115 to 117. And look at those low temperatures well up into the 80s. And that'll do it for the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today. Our next video back here tomorrow morning. And uh, if you want to subscribe to us, get all the information. Every time we post a brand new video, you'll get the updates. Please do so. 
and have yourselves a great Monday. Stay cool out there.